Did you know that having the wrong image on your channel banner on YouTube could be decreasing the amount of subscribers that you're getting or maybe you didn't know that there are five settings that you need to make sure are turned on before YouTube will ever push out your content to the ideal audience? Well, those two things are nothing because by the end of this video, you're gonna have seven different settings and different optimizations you can make to your channel right now to skyrocket your reach because if any of these things are messed up, especially the last two, it's gonna be the reason that you don't get the views you want, don't get the subscribers you want, and ultimately, it's harder than it should be to actually monetize your YouTube channel. So the first thing that you need to make sure that you're optimized is your channel banner. If we look at Mr. Beast, his is good and increases subscribers. If we look at mine, it does the same exact thing. Essentially what you wanna do is reverse engineer exactly what your audience wants and then get them to subscribe for that. Mr. Beast's audience is predominantly little kids, which is why he says subscribe for a cookie and then he has a cookie right here. My audience wants to grow faster on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok, which is why I have subscribe to grow faster. You need to make sure that you set up your channel banner exactly like this for whatever your ideal audience wants. Maybe they want to make more money. Maybe they want to lose weight. Maybe they want to get into affiliate marketing. Maybe they want to make better videos. I don't care what it is. Just make sure you have subscribe for that thing and a smiley face because it's going to increase the subscribers you get. But that's just the first thing you need to optimize. The second thing that you need to make sure that you're optimizing is your profile image. I cannot emphasize this enough. You do not wanna be one of those channels on YouTube that doesn't actually have a profile image added in there. You wanna make sure that your profile image stands out, that it's memorable, and that it's gonna increase the odds that people keep coming back to your YouTube channel or they know who you are and actually click on your videos. And the reason that this matters is because you might not always show in the thumbnail of your video. So how else is somebody gonna know that it's from your channel, they're gonna be looking at that profile image. Now, in order to actually optimize this, here's what you need to do. You need to go to youtube.com slash at your channel URL. You are then going to click on customize channel right here. And now you are going to be able to customize the banner image and the picture that shows up. And again, you need to make sure that these things are optimized because if they're not, it's going to decrease the reach and the amount of subscribers that you get because people won't be able to correctly identify exactly what the point of your channel is or what it actually looks like unless you show in the thumbnail. Now, the next thing that you need to make sure that you're optimizing are going to be your channel tags. And ideally, you need to be putting three things in here. First and foremost, you need to make sure that you have whatever keywords your ideal audience is going to be searching for. Secondly, you need to also make sure that you have different search phrases in there that they're going to be searching for. And then third, you need to make sure that you have your channel name and two to three different competitors. If you don't do this, it's gonna be really hard for YouTube in the beginning to know exactly who they should be showing your content to. And this could be one of the things that's actually holding your channel back. Like, look at mine. Now, obviously, you know that I upload about how to grow on TikTok, how to grow on Instagram, how to grow on YouTube. So if I come into my settings here and then I come into channel and we see these keywords, we're going to see that they are related to TikTok. They are related to Instagram. They are related to YouTube. I have my name in here, my channel name. And then I also have three different competitors down here, which is exactly what you need to make sure that you're doing it. Ideally, you want to have at least 400 out of 500 things in here because it's going to make it way easier for YouTube to actually recognize who to show your content to. Now there are still four other settings that you need to make sure are enabled and they're only gonna keep getting more and more important. But before we get into them, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you wanna learn how to grow quicker on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, I literally upload a video every single day about how to grow on these platforms. In addition, to that, I just created a free YouTube Shorts growth course you can get at the pinned comment below. It's going to show you exactly how to get more subscribers, how to get more views, and ultimately how to get monetized on YouTube in 2025. It's literally 100% free, so what are you waiting for? Go to the pinned comment below and get into it right now. Now, the next setting that you need to make sure is set up correctly is you need to make sure that your description is set up correctly. This is gonna be very similar to the keywords that you just put on your channel, but essentially what you wanna make sure of is that your description is gonna be anywhere from two to five sentences that explains exactly what kind of content you're gonna be uploading. You wanna make sure that, again, those keywords that you put in your channel tags show up there and also that you're putting in some of those phrases that your ideal audience is gonna be searching for in there so that YouTube knows to recommend your channel when somebody does a search for something related to it. 
Because ideally, what you want to happen is when somebody does a search for something you talk about on your channel, like how I talk about the TikTok algorithm on mine, you want to be able to scroll down and see top channels for this search term. You want your page to show up there, which is the same way that my page shows up here. Now, you are going to do this by coming into your channel, scrolling down a little bit, and looking at this description right here. Now, remember, if you have links, you could put the links in here. But otherwise, you want to make sure that this is a few sentences about exactly what kind of content you upload. For example, I upload videos about how to grow on TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube on a daily basis, and I offer coaching, and then I give the link to that. You need to make sure that this is set up. Now, the fifth thing that you need to make sure is set up is you need to make sure that your home tab is set up correctly. Here's what you ideally want to have set up. First, you want to have a featured video for your returning subscribers and a channel trailer for people that haven't subscribed. Ideally, what you want this to be is either your best video or if you have a pitch video or have something to sell people, you could put that right here. And then you want to have for you. This is going to be YouTube recommending fresh content based on your viewers' interests. And ideally, your viewers' interests are going to change over time, which is why you want to have for you. And then you want to make sure that you have popular videos all of your videos and your shorts. If you have all of this set up correctly, then when people come to your homepage, there's going to be a bunch of content for them to be able to consume. And this is going to increase the odds that they watch multiple videos on your page, that they end up subscribing, and ultimately that you're able to monetize those people because they're going to see, wow, this person has so much content about all of these different things. And then the next thing you need to make sure that you're doing is you need to make sure that you come to youtube.com slash verify and you need to make sure you see a green check mark right here. If you do not see a green check mark when you go to do a search for this, it means your page isn't verified and that's why YouTube isn't giving you views. Or you need to make sure that you also come into your settings right here, come into settings, come into channel, come into feature eligibility, and you need to make sure that all three of these also say enabled. If you do not have those four green check marks, the three right here and the one right here, it is the reason that you are not getting views on YouTube. Or you could be messing up one of these next two settings, which are by far the most important. The first of those is making sure that before you post something on YouTube, that that topic is what YouTube actually wants to push out on your channel. If you don't check this, it's going to lead to you making content that YouTube doesn't want to push out, or you could be making content that's the wrong length. Here's how you do it. So what you need to make sure that you do is you need to come into your YouTube studio, come into analytics, come into trends, and then whatever you're posting about, you need to do a search for it. For example, this video is about YouTube settings, so I am gonna type in YouTube settings in here. And what does this show me? It shows me very high interest. If you do not see that, do not upload the video about whatever topic you just put in there. In addition to that, you're gonna be able to see the top searches for this topic and the top videos for this topic. So as I can see here, this video, over 100,000 views was made one month ago and is 10 minutes long. This video, over 4 million views one year ago, 17 minutes long. This video, eight months ago, over 290,000 views and it's 15 minutes long. So ideally, I want my video to be at least 11 to 17 minutes long, which is exactly where I got the length that I'm going to try to create this video for. And why did I do that? Because one, I had very high interest, and two, that's how long these other videos are, which is what people are currently watching under here. Because if I created a video that was way too long, people wouldn't click on it because they'd click on the shorter video. But if I created videos that was way too short, my average view duration wouldn't be high enough in order to compete with these videos right here. So you might think that you're making a better video by making it way shorter than your competitors' videos, but the result is actually that that's not going to happen. Instead, YouTube's going to think that you're not keeping people on the platform for long enough enough, and then boom, you just don't get the reach that you want. Now, that last and final most important thing that you need to make sure that you're doing is you need to make sure that when you're uploading content on a new YouTube channel, that your content is something that ideal audience actually wants to watch. And what I mean by this is you can't upload one video that gets a lot of views, and then the next video doesn't get a lot of views, and then the next video doesn't get a lot of views. You need to make sure that you have a plan about what you're going to be uploading, and you need to make sure that that plan sticks to the script that that ideal audience is going to be interested in, because if you upload something, a lot of 
of people watch it, and then the next one, not a lot of people watch it, and then the next one, a lot of people watch it, and then the next one, not a lot of people watch it. Well, then YouTube isn't going to be training itself the right way in order to really push out your content and make it go viral. And then as a result, you're not gonna get the views you want over time, you're not gonna get the subscribers you want, and it's gonna feel like your competitors are growing way faster than you. And all you have to do in order to fix that is actually have a plan. Now, if you're still struggling to grow on YouTube, but you know that 2025 is the year that you finally wanna get the views you want, finally wanna get the subscribers you want, and finally wanna get monetized on YouTube and be able to make a full-time living, well, I personally wanna help you. In fact, I wanna work with you one-on-one -on -one in order to guarantee I can help you grow quicker on YouTube the same way that I helped this channel get over a million subscribers and this channel over a million subscribers. If that sounds interesting, well, please keep watching this video because I've got a special offer for you. The opportunity to grow on YouTube and this organic reach we're currently seeing is not going to last forever. And there are two things holding you back right now. The first one is that you haven't implemented everything that I just shared with you in this video. And the second is that you haven't gotten into my YouTube mentorship program yet, which literally is going to guarantee that I help you get more subscribers on YouTube in the next 30 days, or you get your money back zero questions asked. In fact, the average person that's gone through this program in the last 30 days has gained over 31,000 subscribers. And the lowest amount of subscribers anybody has ever gained is a thousand subscribers if they implement everything that I share with them in this video. If you want results like that, please go to the link in the description below and sign up right now. Because if you're still watching this video, I'm gonna guess that you're above average. So the odds of you getting over 31,000 subscribers is probably quite high. And if you don't remember, you need 1,000 subscribers in order to get monetized on YouTube. So this is a perfect opportunity for you to make more money from YouTube and for you to set yourself up to become a full-time YouTuber. In fact, I'm gonna tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags use, again, to guarantee that you get more subscribers on YouTube. If you don't get more subscribers, I will give you your money back as zero questions asked. And it doesn't matter what your background is or what your niche is. This program is designed to help you get more subscribers faster and easier. Ultimately, it's going to get you more subscribers or your money back. This creator just went through it and gained over 100,000 subscribers. This creator, over 150,000 subscribers. And this creator, over 400,000 subscribers. And I want you to be my next success story. And I want you to be the next person that makes a full-time living from YouTube. So please, Go to the link in the description below, sign up right now. You literally have absolutely nothing to lose. You're gonna get more subscribers or you're gonna get your money back. If you're not interested in those two things, please watch the next two videos I put up on the screen because they're the videos YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.